Welcome, guys. I will be revealing the top videos of the month. Uh, so let's get to it while I tell the story behind the videos and all that stuff. And uh, normally I give the creators their little hearts. And I have done that already, so we don't need we don't need to click buttons here. We don't need to do this. All right. Uh, oh, we we can look honorable mentions, I guess. Who almost made it? The next one is one hour. So uh, this is kind of recent. Very good. Uh, this is uh, me dealing with a Discord user, basically. Uh, uh kind of random Elder Scrolls thing. This is very random, alright, I was dealing with ray tracing back in the day and uh, trying to figure things out, I was I was basically inventing some crazy things to my level, you know, like being on your own and doing ray tracing, that's pretty something. Some people do it, some people get into this uh, very technical stuff and sometimes come out the other end, I couldn't really do it. It, it got an, a little bit too complicated. I did make something, you know, I, I did pull something out of the hat. But it kind of just flopped. But this, uh, it's kind of weird moment. Cylinder, ray tracing a cylinder is uh, what people picked up on and wanted to, you know, figure out themselves too, I guess. A little datey date. I'm very surprised that uh, these kind of videos can, in fact, uh, be watched. Congratulations, me. And uh, this is old. This is old, but uh, someone watched it. Too bad this doesn't actually uh, scratch people's attention uh, the reasons to watch my videos also the thumbnails like uh, well crafted I, I've learned many things while crafting this thumbnail all right I created a supernova with like a double nova effect and this cake looking uh, 1000 that was a that was a tough move man to pull off this uh, old video somehow brought back him so it's from the dead very interesting i mean now slowly and surely uh i'm like creating a garden of videos which uh slowly evolving uh passively evolving basically i i'm not here to grind you know uh youtube experience but I'm, I'm i definitely have nothing better to do like if i grinded i would want to release flawless videos right but instead i'm just like chilling i'm just uploading sort of a live streamy videos me reacting to things mostly just it's kind of like a podcast it's not really youtube high quality stuff right so I just chill, explore what people care about, what people click on, even though it's one hour long, you know. That is the vibe. Grand finale. Actually, pretty much the only birthday video that made it. But uh, this far. It's kind of lame, but uh, sometimes videos explode after uh, something happens or whatever or after a little bit of time so no problem there uh, we can start climbing basically i'll i'll take a chunk of three videos at a time so uh i'm glad this has been watched uh enough so it's up there but basically sh shadows versus normies versus popular people these three things that that separates the world into three pieces i mean it's 
is pretty uh, giant topic. I always think about it. Just like I was uh, crafting the eight personality thing. This is also a very, very deep topic to craft. The three things that split us all. I live in the shadows. I get to interact with normies. I get to see celebrity life as well. And I I get to also craft this whole uh, system. Not through experience necessarily. I just kind of lay down the expectations, I guess. Uh, but there's, I mean, I, I, I do get experience. I get to observe things. Uh, it's still somewhat speculation. And uh, it's very difficult to explain how it truly works. Uh, but I can definitely talk about my life and how shadowy my life is. And I still haven't uncovered all the nonsense behind it. Because, uh, you know, when you get to be born into this world, you live in your parents' world instead of yours. You can be born rich, you can be born completely normal, as you often do. But I happen to be born deep in the shadows, bro. I don't even know how deep I am, to be honest. Because it, it seems pretty fucking deep. It seems like every single normie that's around me is like borderline crazy, borderline insane. But uh, it's sort of, uh, it's sort of, you can easily find pockets of uh, shadow world, right? You can feel like there's, there's criminal stuff happening everywhere. So it's, it's quite an interesting thing to explore. I just feel like I'm quite deep. But at the same time, like, borderline not too deep. Because uh, you, you can go deeper and deeper into just death itself. Very deep topic, as you can tell. Uh, the biggest thing that I've done to my channel is said goodbye to card game content. So I could relax a little bit and uh, not, uh, not be too hard on myself when it comes to card game. Uh, content, but I still make it every day on a different channel. I made a channel called uh, Mixed Martial Cards. Here it is, and uh, here's my rival. Funny enough, I have to beat it. Uh, <laughs> ironically enough, there's no featured videos apparently from me because uh, when you type mixed martial stuff, you get this fighting th stuff. So technically I have to break down the entire, uh, you know, environment, entire room. I have to take over. Gotta fight these idiots, you know, but with cards and stuff. It's gonna be very interesting to explore this uh, growth, I would say, of this channel. And I think it, it might even beat my main channel. In fact, most of my side channels should beat my main channel. Uh, but only if I put effort into it. And in this case, uh, I will definitely put every single day, almost every day, a card game related content, whatever. And we'll stop being too, too harsh on myself because I can allow myself to do one hour video, two hour video. And it's best to just cut it short and leave it for the next day. So now I can split things up around, no big deal. Right. So card games are saying bye-bye. If you subscribe because of card game content, uh, well, uh, now you have to move. Just move. Congratulations. You made a mistake. <laughs> Gotta move. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, my main channel will be cleaner, will feel cleaner, I think. Because now it's it's a big-ass mix. Like, I had to definitely separate that. It was pretty obvious uh, in the end that it has to happen. I also started uh, these two things. Judgment series and porn series. I found enough courage to started this nonsense but uh 
it's not exactly nonsense. It's the other side of the internet that has to be explored. In fact, it has to be explored. It has such an emotional baggage behind it. And it's like, it also feels good exploring it, you know, like, fuck it. I allow myself to do it. And, uh... Uh, then you have uh, the Judgment series, which uh, is just my deep-seated hatred for Hearthstone getting unleashed so I get to fix it. You know, at least Hearthstone is a game where there's a lot of people so I can at least get attention when I fix Hearthstone. Uh, some people want to do their own, you know, custom card thing and they get addicted into doing that theorizing but uh i'm here to fix hearts i'm not here to shit around i might even fucking buy it one day you know i might be a rich boy powerful boy just buying things up and uh, if i buy hearthstone i would have to fix it somehow so it's very good to have a judgment series like that and just generally judgment series for anything works i could judge instagram I could judge Facebook, I could judge platforms and websites and all that shit, applications, all kinds of things that, you know, piss me off. And in that would include YouTube. I could do YouTube judgment series, which I am doing as a YouTube CEO. I claim to be YouTube CEO, but maybe I could just turn it into a judgment series because now it's getting even difficult to cram all of the content into two hour video. It's kind of crazy. Of all the things I want to do and explore with YouTube. Uh, absolutely interesting stuff. I might even need to upgrade a lot of stuff. Of how I use Discord. Maybe move all of the content onto the engine. You know. Because uh, uh, using the search bars is kind of inconvenient. But hopefully. Well. It is inconvenient. But hopefully I can organize things still. Discord is still a pretty powerful uh, platform. So, but you can see I'm contemplating a bit. Also, while I do this, I'm gonna share with data. Okay, new tricks, how about that? The YouTube matrix. Uh, Another three videos. Well, we have the reunion thing. I had to cover that. It seems like it's weird. It's a weird one. You know, it's almost like pre planned. They had to separate themselves, they had to make mistakes, and they had to reunite. And kind of, uh, we, I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I can only speculate. Uh, I can almost predict though almost i have a feeling i i know what's gonna happen but i just want to see it you know i see i want to see it for what it is it will slowly unentangle itself the first thing they uploaded is summon a demon summoning a demon and the video contains taylor swift concert ticket bullshit it's like i really want to be in a con concert about taylor swift it's like what what's going on but uh, it is weird, because Taylor Swift, again, is going to overtake the highest pop star in subscribers, which is Ariana. I don't know anyone higher than that. I might be blinded by the light. I, I can check the stats, but, you know, not now. Uh, then we have uh, the Asmund Gold thing. Uh, he actually appears twice on... Uh, leaderboard which is kind of cool again everyone gets hearts out of this uh, i can double check he has six hearts and overall this means priority in case i run out of ideas or just want to make a random video so i would just pick up someone from this uh, priority list somehow anisian is very high still did i not knock him down that's an acceptable man. Uh, yes, 
it's a little bit misorganized because I I'm still not comfortable with the heart system, but we're gonna get there. It's it gets very complicated very quickly now. All right, and uh, solo arena actually shows up twice as well. In this case, uh, I try to just beat aggression because it is the only thing that uh, creates a lot of trouble. Uh, and there's different sorts of aggression. There's like very uh, quick aggression. There's big creature aggression that has drain or wards or whatever. And then there's weapons. Uh, and it's it's really difficult to beat all of them. And there's also the goblins, obviously, which is kind of the highlight of the show, of this episode. Uh, uh, I'm gonna comment on Asmongold soon enough, but uh, I I got someone in in my comments, so I replied to their stuff and. It makes you think and makes you generate more ideas when you're interacting with someone. So I think someone was defending Asmund Gold and their lifestyle, but it was just pathetic sort of defense. Again, it makes me think of like even even better ways to tear down their arguments, which is good. It's interesting, uh, but uh, you know. And some people think it's like feed the, the troll moment, where uh, if, if they typed in a comment and they started an argument with me, they would feed the troll. Technically, if you don't like me, you can call me a troll. And I do feed off every single feedback, unlike YouTubers. And I, I feel like that's a honorable thing. You can appreciate that your effort is also appreciated finally appreciated instead of just dumping your effort in random places as if all you want to do is just uh, uh hear a flushing toilet sound anytime you type in a comment you know you type in your comment and then this happens do you feel better now because nothing happens you just shat you shat under someone's video because you you had a brain fart, I mean for fuck's sake. But w when I receive comments, I try to you know pull them, down, milk it for what it's worth. You know, try to imagine it as as if it's, it was a cow, filled with juice. And it worked out, you know. It spawned a, a follow up video, which also received plenty of attention. So. Can't complain. Uh, this was uh, a historic moment. I guess whenever I receive a subscriber, I definitely impress someone. So uh, keep that in mind when you see this number. Um, this was me ranting. And I found 44 sins so far. Of why Hearthstone sucks. 44 reasons why Hearthstone sucks. Like, you, get, you can't make this shit up, all right? And in my judgment videos, I probably will have to clean that slate, you know, like, just uh, explain what I would, would have to do to fix all these issues. And uh, here's my farewell for uh, all these uh, card game videos on my channel. There's, there's no need. You can go away now. It gives me a lot of watch time, and now we're gonna compete side by side. Is my main channel better, or some fucking card game garbage? No, I'm I'm passionate, of course, but my passion should not get in the way of my other passion. You know, shouldn't get mixed in and confuse people, which is annoying. And uh, these are big passions, fighting for uh, people's attention, and I. I don't. I don't want confusion. It gets weird. I would. I would love to inspire people to play card games, and maybe every now and then I will show something on my main channel that's 
that's kind of relevant in in the card game world or in the real world but it comes from card games i often enough like make metaphors using it so it's 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 quite something but other than that we we just got to remove the confusion uh, and being NPC is bullshit. Thank God someone doesn't want to be an NPC anymore. It's uh, hopefully it helps. It didn't impress anyone because the uh, the only thing I do is just talk. All right. The best way to obviously educate people is to show more than you talk or show things side by side while you comment on things. Uh, it's impossible for me to do that. You must understand, it's literally impossible. I can shove a camera and expose myself, all right? But that also compromises me and puts me in a weird type of spotlight uh, where malicious intentions, often enough, are also going to present themselves. So at least I have to be prepared if a camera is shoved in my face. Or I have to do it to myself. But I I also have to do it in a very, very powerful way. If I get to do it. If I have to record something. Technically. Technically I should have footages of just me walking around and recording things. So it, it's less boring. Alright. But then I get to expose my town. And you know where I live. And all that shit. It's not really... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet, you know. But we'll see. Uh, I think people clicked on miscommunication because of the thumbnail. Here is top 10 farts. People making conversations. I just wanted to make this joke. Because I know how people like num uh, numbers. So if there's a number on a thumbnail or on a title, people are just going to gravitate towards that. And obviously people want jokes. People want to understand things based on a thumbnail alone sometimes. So I think I impressed someone just by thumbnail alone. Uh, in this video, this is why, again, another reason to just dump my passion somewhere else because uh honestly card game stuff is kind of like a dumpster content even though it has all the context it needs but again it mixes up with the rest of the stuff that i do which uh is a lot more serious than card games are uh, but it's it's definitely a way for me to chill and you should know about it but this is, uh, this is it. Maybe it will not work out and it will come back to main channel. I just don't think so, though. The only thing I need is to build a bridge. And then it's like, it's fine. Now it's just two separate things. They're doing two separate things. Just like organs in your body. They're separated. But they're all bridged by blood, you know. Or whatever. And they're still in the same body. Um, all right. Uh, so yeah, I crafted three legendaries because uh, a bunch of nerves happened that were actually useful. Actually useful nerves. It kind of changed the meta game, but uh, why stop there? They had to continue nerfing things. Uh, instead, we have a meta game where it's still being dominated by two classes, two and a half classes. All right. Anything above 51% is like a half of domination. But we still have just two classes, pretty much. And it's like, well, it didn't fix anything. And just because we have a, a bit of green stuff, I'm not impressed. All right, there's still a 13% gap. The historical gap is 17%. So we're not far off. All right, we're not far off. We have gotten a historical gap this year, anyways. It's like okay, okay. We got in this this year, so we're we're not far off from that gap. Thirteen percent. 
They didn't do much at all with these nerfs. They don't know what they're doing. Nerfs are so essential to the game that literally every single format is suffocating. You can create as many formats as you want in Hearthstone, but every single format is suffocating because of imbalance, unfairness, all this Hyrule nonsense. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what they did to this game. Even though it... The, you, do you, don't you like money? Do you like torturing people? It creates such a suspicious environment. But it is what it is. It's a sun and moon, boys. You stare at the sun, you get your eyes burnt out. You look at the moon, well, you shiver uh, in fear anytime a full moon shows up. So uh, you have Elder Scrolls Legends and Hearthstone be, being these uh, sun and moon of card games for me. But I don't, I don't know anything else. What, do you want me to play Gwent? Jesus Christ. I think maybe Gwent is a thing, and I enjoyed it. And it's definitely fair. It's definitely the most fair card game there is. Maybe it's an escape route, I don't know. For some people it was. But then, I don't know. Then the Runiverse showed up. I mean, Rune Terra, I mean. But Runiverse is also a card game. Whatever. This was my initial thing, reacting to Asmund Gold doing his pizza thing. And, uh, it, again, it got in deep very quickly. Because finally someone is making sanity content. But anytime someone makes sanity content, it's a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit satire. You don't know what's, what's going on. Because uh, you don't expect people to do it, but you know they really much need it. Uh, it's that thing that everyone wants, but they don't know that they want. Uh, a, a story about their life, or a little bit of a background of how they do things. If they either seem like an outcast, seem like a weird celebrity or whatever... Uh, but, you know, they, they have grinded all the way up. And we want to relate to these people. We don't want to look at them as, like, uh, unbeatable uh, authorities. Because they, they're going to get knocked out by someone anyways. If they're going to be looked at it that way. It actually, like, empowers that person when they make sanity content. And technically... You know, maybe promoting sanity content is not a good idea because I don't want to empower YouTubers, am I right? No, it, it's fine. It's a fair game. If you educate yourself, you deserve it, basically. Even if you fake it until you make it, it's fine. I tried Warshak's deck, and it, it sucked. It really sucked. Because, uh... Either you push aggro, or you push control, or you sit in the middle and worry about every single Borkler in the game. It's like, God damn it, bro. One Borkler saves the day, clears your ward, clears your investment of like five cards beaten by one card. It's like, what the fuck? This is why... You... Maybe I screwed over Warshak's deck and I messed it up. But I couldn't win most of the games. I think 30% win rate was where I got myself into. Well, he got the opposite of like 17 wins and 3 losses. What the fuck? 85% win rate versus my evaluation of 30. While he was in legend ranks. Like none of this made sense to me. And now, now you can feel the confusion, right, guys? Like, you can feel I'm talking about serious stuff, and then I talk about card games. And it's just not compatible. So annoying. And you, you immediately, like, lose interest in this video as well, where I review everything. So all of this can just be separated, especially when I make two-hour videos. Funny enough, that allows me to separate content. 
It's like separating bread. I'm like, okay, we, we have a bigger family. Now we have to share same amount of bread. But uh, it's fine. If it saturates us, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, maybe I was eating. Maybe I'm just fat. You know. We'll never know. Maybe my brain is fat. You can't look at my body and you don't even get to see it. But uh, maybe my brain is fat and I have to split my content. Even if I can't really split it, I can always split a two hour video into one hour video into 30 minutes and so on. If I have to. All right, shoo. Came back because uh, she uploaded a new video. So people are, you know, looking around and bump into my video as well. Somehow it's up there. Uh, that's cool. I might even make a follow up thing, but Shu doesn't have much reputation to spend four hearts. Get out of my face. No one cares. Um. Uh, okay, so we can move on. Uh, the This was a thumbnail moment, basically. Confidence is gold. But someone got hooked to watch the whole thing. This is just six views. And uh, someone really needed confidence. I'm so glad. Because I have some myself. I just confidently offload a bunch of videos. I do a lot of crazy things in that sense. And I say a lot of crazy things and I, uh, I'm i preparing myself, you know, for a spectacular turnaround of events. Because I'm definitely a game changer when it comes to everything. And again, I, I equate myself to Mr. Beast and PewDiePie. I put a lot of effort into YouTube and uh, now I'm just going full speed. I'm not looking around. I'm just going full speed. If I can put effort, it all goes to YouTube. I don't care anymore. Back in the day, I was like struggling to make uh, video games and whatnot. Again, ray tracing was mentioned. But now I'm just going all in. Because uh, uh, it's just very empowering stuff. And also it builds all these golden traits for a human um obviously my main trait is not confidence but intelligence if i had confidence confidence is a funny thing where you you don't do things you know where you don't have to do things it's very interesting it's kind of like laziness but not really you don't have to follow rules for example you don't have to answer to someone's text. You can just ignore the, them. You can. You don't have to be rude, but you don't have to be <laughs> nice either, which is very interesting. Uh, that's how confidence works. Confidence is different from courage. Courage is about doing things, and confidence is about just chilling and being lazy and stuff. And whenever, whenever you you are required as a person, then you just offload crazy amount of efforts when needed. Because you're confident that you can do things when needed. And you're confident that you don't have to do things for the most part. You can just relax and do whatever. It's kind of an interesting concept. And obviously, the, the thumbnail suggests that you have to be prepared for opportunities. Someone can show up in your life and you have to prepare yourself that you might be able to accept them into your life. You might be able to grab that opportunity, but not every single opportunity is good. So we have to also test. And that's what preparation is all about, is understanding what you get and how to use it properly. Niga Higa, uh, again, teases, I, I believe, a comeback of his own, just like Smosh did. And apparently, people care about it a little bit more. 
uh, I checked the most popular stuff, the podcast. Sure. Did I found anything? I'm wearing a mask. Uploading content. He is uploading content, by the way, on his gaming channel. Uh, is is it good? I don't know. But it, I I think I, I mean he created such impressive videos. They gets to relax technically, but he he doesn't have to. He can just react to his old stuff and compile it together or something. Um, just promote top ten videos, top ten moments. Just you know compilations of shit. He can do that. He just never really had an idea, I believe. And often enough, when I uh, go through this dumpster of YouTube stuff, uh, as I generate ideas, I realize like other people don't have the ideas that I do. And they, even if they do have the idea, they, they lose it very quickly. They don't actually execute it. Or they don't have enough uh, self-esteem to do it. This is why it's so important to have the main channel where you just th uh, throw eggs at the wall and see what, what sticks, you know. Well, it doesn't have to be eggs because egg, eggs would crack. But you get the idea. You just throw things at the wall and see what, what's better for you. What, uh, you don't have to just look at the stats. You have to piece together a story of what you want to do. Uh, but stats, you know give you a pretty good clue of what works so as you climb the mountain you you get to piece the story just like we do it right now this is a pretty powerful thing that's still up there it was top five videos last month but basically someone requested me to explain a personality ideology that i was dealing with um and uh, throwing these ideas in every single video, almost. Because everyone has a personality. You know, so I, I tend to uh, talk about it quite a bit. I tend to focus on that. Because a personality also includes a strategy of life. A way of life. A way of doing things. A way of reacting to things. Like, it's a very deep topic that you have to understand. And MBTI thing does not actually explain anything. I don't know if it's deliberate. It's just in the normie world, uh, there's a lot of random ideas that sort of got established and uh, sort of create created a business around those ideas, but they don't necessarily are the best ideas. They they don't necessarily work perfectly. And uh, can be simplified. And I have simplified a 16 into 8. You don't need 16. The only reason why there is a 16 is because there's women and men. So you make another split. You split 8 into men and women. And now you have 16. And that was not necessary. And I've realized that. You know, that was the highlight of the video. Just me realizing uh, that my simpler version is actually better. And I have not learned anything new from MBTI thing. Um, you have these old dudes still uh, crawling in the, I guess the, the giants, you know, the giants always going to be in the top of the mountains because they can't afford to live there. Uh, so you have Mark Passio. These guys like kind of like yin and yang, like I start starting to like Dark Matter, and I'm starting to hate Mark Passio. <laughs> uh, starting to move away from Mark Passio, and Dark Matter is like, fine. Now, he, he crawled out of the cave while, while Mark Passio is kind of like, willing to go into the cave and dig deeper into nonsense. But at least he's interacting with other creators. So it means that someone is also in that deep mines so at least mark passy is exploring the mines but looking for other people who are also in there and uh so there's a lot of deep stuff going on here 
potentially dark matter is starting to break down his his life because the moment you start ranting, the moment you start your own podcast series, but you can't just do a podcast. You can't just uh, lay back and chill. That is a stupid way of doing things. I think podcasts are actually boring. Rants are not podcasts, in my opinion. Rants are a little bit different. Because on a podcast, uh, podcasts are known for incorporating more than one person. Technically, what Mark Passio was doing is a live podcast. Uh, but a rant is different. Rant is a presentation almost about something that you're frustrated about and you have a lot of thoughts accumulated. For me now, ranting is the uh, easiest thing ever so I can judge everyone else whenever they do it. In this case, Dark Matter was uh, able to avoid uh, harsh judgment. Congratulations. Crushed him with Giants moment. Uh, it's kind of interesting. After I built a druid deck, I figured my win rate was 70%. Hmm, it's still playable. So it inspired a lot of people to just look at my deck and like, I guess, copy and paste it and see it for themselves. And uh, it feels like it was stolen eventually. But it's a top five video. When I... And again, top five videos, some of them are card game related. I don't know how to feel about it. I have to just detach it and throw it away and see if the the wolf's going to eat it or if it is going to turn into a sun and move mo moon moment where my passion is for card games is probably the sun, but you're not supposed to stare at it the same way, right? And this is just a chill moment of me complaining about things. So you've got to be the moon. So... Uh, it's it was it's probably a godlike moment, you know, when you naturally create sun and moon uh, on YouTube. I mean, show show me guys, show me a YouTuber that can do these things. God damn it, bro. Also, I didn't even mention, but I would like to have an introduction to my videos, but you're gonna get to see the the full effect, I guess. Uh, we're almost there. The next video is top five, so uh, uh, you guys made it. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, so I fixed Druid because I Druid is my main class, and I, I squeezed win rate out of it because of uh, one particular combo that everyone knows now. Everyone knows this one, but maybe not to full extent. Uh, but it's still really powerful stuff. I don't know, maybe Warshak found this combo, but I, I don't think so. Uh, he definitely found something else. That this is a Borkler. He helped me figure that out. Uh, yeah, I, I, sh I should look around a little bit more when it comes to card games of what other people are up to and maybe leave comments under their videos. It's kind of like leaving a comment, you have to imagine as like leaving a little bit of a a flower. You, you pick that flower from somewhere and you just leave it. You leave a coin. It's kind of like a honorable thing. Like worshiping gods, you leave a little bit of a token for someone else, not for gods themselves, but for someone else who's worshiping. Maybe they like the token or something. Maybe they really need it. So because they come to your shrine, uh, they get to, you know, see what tokens people leave, what is sentimental to them. And uh, they can pick things up if they want. Uh, they should be rewarded for caring. If, uh, if someone wants to steal everything, I mean, they will, they will get in trouble. Now we're going to be suspicious, right? Now we're going to leave tokens in order to catch the thief. So we, we can also catch rats this way, uh, who steal everything. Because you're not supposed to take everything. These are supposed to be different kinds of tokens. I'm tripping, guys. I am tripping now. Um. All right. Yeah, you, you can feel I have to 
What, what video am I making again? Am I right? Yeah, so we have Sanity Machine. Sanity Machine is top first video. All right. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but uh, I made a follow-up video, which also performed very well because people have patience, apparently, to watch these things. However, this one was not impressive enough to gain a subscriber. Illegal. How does that work, man? Gimme. Uh, yeah, it, Sanity Machine wants to be wants you to be soul trapped. Wants you to think about all these dark things. It's some shadow person, uh, basically squeezing YouTube videos just like I do, but he doesn't have thumbnails. So there's no. Uh, he can't build art with that, even though he's called angel artist or whatever. He calls himself that way. And it's like, if you don't make art for your YouTube videos, then you don't, you can't make it. You just lose it. And this is where you start. You look at the vibe. If a shadow person is actually trying hard to appear normal, that's pretty powerful stuff. And uh, I do it. I still get nothing out of it. This guy has grown... Uh, 200 subscribers since last time I've seen it, seen him, 200. It's almost like 200 or uh, 50 subscribers every month. I only get eight. So obviously I'm jealous and I'm like, fuck. But this guy lives in a now a drama world. Borderline stupid people world. Where there's a bunch of conspiracy theorists, a bunch of uh speculators all kinds of garbage on that borderline uh and you will find friends but if your friends are crazy you will not be able to climb the ladder of youtube that easily anymore so he will reach a peak anytime now the sanity dude but m maybe it's still fine you know maybe he will evolve somehow I just doubt it. I think he's just gonna turn into a joke. Uh, but it's a very, it's a great opportunity when you find someone fresh off the boat, growing really fast. It's it's a great opportunity to, you know, join the shit fest. Sometimes, so uh, I infiltrated. I pushed this concept to the top of the leaderboard, which gives me the most watch time right now. But uh, I'm not too proud because uh, this guy is still just crap. But it uh, opens a new can of worms of like how the f how you get views. I'll explain it, guys. How do you get views? How do you grow on YouTube? It gets dirty if you don't if you're not gonna use cheat codes. The way you grow on YouTube is a little bit dirty. So uh. The final thing that's not top five, it's top six, is another Hearthstone Judgment video. The first Hearthstone Judgment did not made it for some reason. How did that happen? I'm, I'm disappointed in humanity. Anyways, because um, it was me reacting to some stuff. I thought it was cool. Anyways, maybe it's, it's too early in the month and just got cut off from the leaderboard. All right, so uh, how is this different? Well, I Death Knight has the corpse mechanic, and I'm like, everyone should have one. Why is Death Knight so different from every other class? And most importantly, Death Knight has also runes, which ruin the class as well, and it could be easily fixed. But, uh, and again, every class could have runes. And runes could be its own thing that could spice up your deck. Like, you can get a bonus. It's like traits. It, it's like having traits. The entire deck has traits. Like, you can draw one drop consistently on turn one. A trait. Yeah, one trait. However, it could have a a downside where you can't can't do this in the deck, you can't add this, you have to do Highlander stuff. 
uh, traits have existed uh, in the background of Hearthstone. And I'm going to talk about more of that. This is very inspiring stuff. Traits. Let's get to top five. You get to see the whole thing. No need to uh, take it slow. Because there's a theme going on. All right. Oh, oops, I will take it slow anyways. No, we have Sanity Machine on top. I have explained it. But we have LGBTQ. Uh, the whole thing, people. Some th three dudes, you can imagine. Three dudes want to weaponize themselves against this uh, rainbow flag. So they're starting to watch my content. Okay. And the whole thing. We just watch the whole thing. The whole... Th so I have to release the third video now. I just have to. Alright? Stay tuned for that one. Uh, I did not receive a subscriber, but... Uh, again, someone is uh, weaponizing themselves. The interesting thing I saw on Ariana's post about defending these people. These trans losers, basically. But uh, sexuality cannot be defended unless it's a porn category, all right? I have discovered a way to look at sexuality of, like, it's actually entertaining, it's actually liberating. We're talking about trans people, about gay people. These are porn categories that don't make it on the list. If you want to spice things up, add furries in here. Where's the furry category, right? There isn't. Bisexual. Like, none of this lesbian category is almost acceptable, and it's still not acceptable. It's not entertaining. Neither of these are entertaining enough to be appreciated. Neither of them produce value to society. Like, at least it has to be entertaining. And if it's not entertaining, it's garbage. All right? At least entertaining. Is it educational? Very, very unlikely. It seems like it's it turning into a garbage fest of like left versus right, only fighting about this, about this rainbow thing. Yes, thank you. I will use the rainbow as a bridge to get to my dream land, to my promised land for all the effort that I put in, while I try to survive at the same time. All right. Now that I get to um, live in peace. And I have enough money. The real survival is survival of the mind. Survival of like what happens when I get all these opportunities. I will die inside if I don't uh, take advantage of the, the opportunities that are going to be presented in my life. So I have to weaponize myself as well to travel across this rainbow bridge that does not belong to some rainbow Nazis. All right, I want to hijack and call it sexual sexuality movement. A pride season or whatever. You know, you can try hijack as many nice things as possible and make yourself feel good. But I'll just steal it back. Alright? I'll just take it back. Don't worry about it. A third level is coming up. Because people are demanding. Alright? You can have a f th three, three friends watch a, a particular series and you will fucking level it up. Really fast, just like that. So, uh, toast, you know, toast, let's fucking go. And it's it's very powerful right now. It's very powerful, uh, because, uh, it's, uh, it's a serious thing that's happening. Also, only now people have started watching. So, this had, this could even go higher. This could crash, very likely, but there's some potential of uh, something something brewing under these videos, you know, something going on. This could be just people investigating at the same time, right? But I am specifically on the side of offense, all right? I have to fight back, while celebrities have to, you know, uh, show that they respect you and they... I understand, but on both sides, I don't think you're going to win this war, all right? We just want the Rainbow Bridge to exist so celebrities could travel 
to the shadow worlds and vice versa if they want to or just just to visit sometimes but uh you know maybe i I just want to escape the shadows and i don't want to talk with normies so we need a whole fucking rainbow so i don't have to interact with any single normie that's super fucking greedy imagine if you somehow wake up and you like feel like a celebrity and sort of normies like look around and like is this is this guy popular should i take selfies with him should i try and steal his soul and they will try to weaponize against uh, me, perhaps. Perhaps I wake up one day and I'm a celebrity, and like, and every every norm is like, what do we do? We have to do something. We have to integrate him, and that's why I have to walk the rainbow bridge, so I don't have to interact with these fucking idiots when I become viral or something. Fuck this shit, bro. We skip. You guys don't deserve. Normies don't deserve. They had plenty of, uh, plenty of opportunities to take. Take me in and help me out. All right? Didn't happen. Game over. Almost game over. All right? The clock is ticking still. We're building the bridge. We're going to threaten, you know, the well-being of uh, uh, these idiots. We're going to pretend that the bridge is all about the, the pride and stuff. But you don't get to use it. You know, you always have to question this. Like, what? What is the rainbow supposed to do? What, who is it useful for? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me. Again, we have to appreciate the Hearthstone uh, making it to the leaderboard, but we're gonna say goodbye. And it's good. There's another reason it's just Hearthstone sucks so bad. Might as well fucking dump it on the other channel. Uh, no, but it's, it's a great separation. Wonderful thing. I will make my own card game potentially. You know, that thing that I'm doing uh, will evolve. And we could probably do something cool with that. Uh, people don't see it until it's finished. You know, people don't see things until it's finished. If something is unstable, it's like, ah, you, you can't trick me. You're different each day. You have a different opinion each day. But the moment you keep reiterating something, is that then they understand, oh, this is not going away. This little bug in my room keep replicating itself. We have to we have to call the exterminator and see what happens. You know. It is what it is. Life is pretty crazy, man. Opening the whale of like how life works, like what the fuck is this shit? So when it comes to sanity machine. Uh, we gotta knock him down because he's still holding the stupid name. And just holding names in general, uh, like Mr. Beast and Dream and all these like weird names that uh, somewhat powerful. Uh, you have to like really deserve it. I guess Sanity Machine is something that he, he could evolve into. And he's uh, in a very intense position right now. And could be respect to that that much and as long as you hold the name it's like sure but this is a title that you would hold it's a little bit weird i don't know we'll see how this evolves i don't care too much to comment about the most popular video why because i also like hijacked uh, a position so if you search for something on youtube you would see my video basically and i sp specifically asked for this to happen it's like up here somewhere you know it's here but uh last time i checked it was lower higher it just fluctuates i guess it is what it is i mean i'm interested in my own video so it's probably higher for me than other people as well but uh, if someone clicked on it, then it's up there for them as well. But I don't know. Algorithm works in mysterious ways. No one knows how it, how, it, how it ends up spitting out the result. But yeah, I took over 
the search results uh, so I'm glad that worked out and who knows how long it's gonna generate uh, views just like with Mark Passio I took over the search results I believe and it started giving me a lot of views this is a very um, another, another strategy that you have to incorporate is finding that niche technically that could still give you views so you have to take over the search and uh, it's a lot of views over time as well all right most of my videos just die after they can't survive a month okay they probably die after two weeks or something but in this case uh, these things survive for like three months mark passio's video survived probably six months probably since inception this is six months basically it's crazy right it's still up here in top top 10 videos based on the watch time uh and uh yeah you get subscribers too so people potentially find different things to watch and it becomes a, a, an avalanche effect in fact that's why it's so fun to create mountains of content because it creates an avalanche of just people slowly kind of uh rippling down from the top of the mountain from the 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 biggest video that they see they kind of topple down a little bit every time someone looks at the top of the mountain the entire mountain gets a little bit of reputation right it's kind of interesting uh so this is why it's, it's so entertaining to build a channel like this um well after i build a druid deck then i noticed that people figured out that this deck exists that the strategy exists not particularly copied and pasted my deck but it was uh kind of similar enough to where it's a bit suspicious right and it like it happened week after i built my deck so uh it was suspicious absolutely but when i played it uh even like a changed version it just sucked so bad it sucks so bad funny enough uh when i clicked on the video uh i remember saying like oh i i lose for some stupid reasons and i was starting to remember the games the the most recent time i played this drew deck i'm like wait my my cards are getting silenced people are attacking against this shit or some bullshit is happening and uh it if if your card gets silenced then uh you probably get knocked out you very like but it's weird it's weird so again why it's so difficult to talk about a card games and the series stuff ugh twisted man i guess now i know how to make this thumbnail for sure this is obvious we have the rainbow on one side the fucking hearthstone cancer on the other side because uh, this technically is not a positive video and this is just a nostalgic dumpster that received two subscribers for me wait wasn't i playing a druid deck again all right guys we're gonna do the four weeks ago wait 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 june 4 and june 2 so I, I was playing the same deck basically yeah exactly the same my win condition guys <laughs> maybe this is this is the one that this is where they stole the idea but whatever and then I made an exclusive video for that one. So yeah, I, I realize now there's there was a much bigger opportunity to steal. There was a uh, 280 views. Another, the last thing I want to show you guys is how different this is, right? This rainbow thing versus uh, Hearthstone and even Sanity Machine. Uh, if you take... Uh, the amount of uh, the the 
the watch time is very similar, right? So we can just divide one by the other. In fact, we have to divide this by this. And you're going to see a very interesting. So 192. Basically, we ran it down to like 25, right? So 25 times. Uh, there could be a difference of people just clicking on the video, but clicking away. And I think the difference is greed. All right, but technically it's greed both ways. There's people greedy to understand uh, how this rainbow bullshit works. And, uh, or just investigating my channel. I don't know. And uh, people are greedy to get the best of the best Hearthstone content. So they don't want to stay around on my channel. They feel like, oh, other people make better content than I do. And it's like, it's... It pisses me off, uh, but this is the contrast that can happen. There can be a 25 times the difference of uh, commitment, basically. Where these views have gen th these amount of views generate the same amount of watch time. However, uh, it took only pretty much seven views to, to get this. And again, 200 views. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, is that you don't get to see the full story. If someone receives 25,000 views, that doesn't mean that the video is better than the video that received a, a thousand views. You know, it's still very difficult to compare a 25,000 view video with a 1,000 view video. And it's it that's a pretty crazy difference, right? Same goes with the subscribers, same goes with everything else. There's that 25 times the difference that can be apparent. Apparently, you know, where people just click on something and click away and you don't get to see the full story. Because uh, it's the watch time that gives the full story, full context of how much commitment people, how much investment people did. Because clicking is not an investment. Clicking is just a reaction. Uh, it's just you liked something. You pressed the like button. No one cares about how many people liked the video, though. But we would like to see the overall numbers, overall commitment. And watch time is supposed to reflect that. If you like something, you're going to watch a little bit more. You know, watch time is one of those things that really powerful for YouTube to highlight. And if I'm YouTube CEO, yeah, we're flipping. No more views. It's watch time. Because everyone needs to know that. And the views don't actually reflect anything anymore. You can see how different this is. And it makes no fucking sense. So that is my, those are my last words. I would do a lot of things as a YouTube CEO, as em, in power, employed. I am YouTube CEO, just like a, if you run for a president, you have to run the country already. All right, you want to be a president, you will have to be a president. You know, it's just, uh, you're not going to be in the spotlight as a president. Uh, you don't. Just because you're in a spotlight doesn't make you a celebrity, doesn't make you talented, you know? Well, if you're in a spotlight, you are celebrity. But a spotlight is not going to give you talent. Just because you're going to promise things of like, I will do this and this and that, doesn't make your promises real, all right? You have to be working, you have to be doing things. You can't promise things, you have to already have solutions to things not promises. So the same way I operate as YouTube CEO, I'm working every day. I am YouTube CEO. You can't deny that shit. Funny enough. All right. So seeing this difference is something other people don't get to see. You know, I have this, I have harvested a very powerful experience where, where people were committed into figuring out what the fuck is this rainbow thing. 
and people were not committed in watching another Hearthstone video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.